Okay, so here I am on a plain IBM I system. Uh, this is a this is the production machine for a customer of mine. It does not have Presto installed on it. If I work with the library beginning XL underscore, I can see there are no libraries here. The uh, Presto BCD software Presto libraries appear in libraries beginning XL underscore something. And there's nothing on this machine, so Presto is not installed. So let's go ahead and run an install completely to this machine and do it in real time and uh, show you how to do it. It's really, really, really simple. So I've downloaded the Presto server executable from my BCD customer portal. Um, in this library here, you can see that the Presto server is the server install. The Presto client is my client install that allows me to edit screens and all that stuff. So I'm going to run the Presto server, which will um, upload everything to my machine. I'm going to run it as administrator, purely because this is my machine and I don't want to be caught by any security glitches. It takes a few seconds to launch while it's preparing itself and then it will ask me for the um, iSeries address that I'm connecting to, which I happen to know, my user ID and then my IBM I password. Now if I'm running Windows 10, the uh, recently released uh, publisher edition, whatever they called it, that just came out in uh, April 2017. And I have found that when I st when it starts running the upload here, because I ran a trial run for this onto the development machine a few days ago, um, you notice that the window says not responding. And this scared me first time I did it, but it's a lie. It is responding. It just says not responding while it's doing the actual file transfer. So what it's doing right now is sending the save file um, of the Presto install up to the IBM I system. And it says not responding while it's waiting for response for that so far to be transferred. It's 110 megabytes. I'm working remote over a VPN which is a little bit slow. So this might take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and just literally sit here drinking my cup of tea waiting for this to finish and I'll tell you how long it took. So we're at 2 minutes and 20 seconds and I'm going to pause now. 3 minutes in it still says not responding but don't panic because I know behind the scenes it's still doing something. So let's wait a bit longer. Boom! At 4 minutes and 20 seconds, <laughs> up it plops. So there we are. It says that it's sent the file, it's restored it, um, and it tells you that everything's ready to go. We have to run this command. XL underscore presto I. The command is BCD install. And that sets everything, all of our product up for us. Let's sign on to the machine and do that. So if I look at the libraries now, I expect to find one called Excel Presto I, and there it is. I can run the command in there, called bcd install. Um, there are no parameters on this command, I'll just press enter. And there we are, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a new install or clone an existing? In my case, I want to do a new install. I can rename the environment library anything I like. In previous installs I've done of this product, I've called it Excel underscore PR, you know, 6.2 or 6 point, you know, to put the version number. But in this case, I'm just going to call it Excel Presto. We're only going to ever have one version of this installed on the machine, and it's going to synchronize between this production machine and our dev machine. It then asks us for the IFS path. This is where it stores all of the screen transformations, the JSON bits, the XML, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's these two libraries, Excel underscore Presto, and this IFS folder, SDXL underscore Presto, that's what we have to save from our development machine and send across to production when we want to publish the screen changes that we've made on the dev box. The Presto installation is pretty quick in itself. It literally takes, most of the times it takes just a few seconds. So there we are, it's processing the objects that it's restored. Um, it asked me for my security code. This is the uh, installation keyword. I have it, but I'm not going to enter it here just because I'll be publishing this to uh, YouTube probably. If I just press enter, it sits there thinking about things and then tells me that it's done. So it's installed it into this library, Excel Presto. Let's put the IFS where I expected it. It tells me that to access um, Presto, I put in into my URL of my browser, my IP address using port 8022 forward slash presto forward slash presto. 
to get immediate screen scrape. Um, obviously, before I do that, I have to make sure that the server is started, and it's starting an HTTP server called Excel underscore Presto. So let's do that. So if I just say start TCP server, it's an HTTP server. Um, press F4, and it's called XL underscore Presto. This will start the server for me. It's starting, so let me launch a browser. I'll use um, Opera, I think, in this case. You can use whatever your browser of choice is. I run Chrome, Firefox, and Opera, and of course Edge, which is probably one I fancy at the time. So here's my customer portal where I download my installed software. So if I type in the IP address of my machine with port number 8022, and then just go to presto, presto, and press enter, it should show me the sign-on screen rendered immediately by presto. Of course, it tells me my trial version had expired because I didn't enter the key. So um, I'm now going to key that key in, and we'll go from there. Let me pause while I type this in. Okay, that was easy. Um, to find your keys, I didn't realize, if you log on to uh, the MyBCD software website, you can click on License Management and it will show you the keys on the screen. So I just copied my key. Then to apply the key to Presto, you go to a command line, you add the XL underscore Presto to your library list. Make sure this is in the library list. And you type in the command Unlock. Pop in your security code and press enter and you're immediately unlocked. Now, if I go back to Opera to my, where it was telling me my trial version has expired, if I press enter, it should let me straight in. Should, I say. That looks good. And here we are. Here's a sign-on screen being served up to me by Presto. I can tell it's a default. This is a standard, see the company name logo. This is an untampered with skin that comes with uh, Presto. And I would use the Presto designer to make changes here. But even with the basic one, I can log on to the machine just like I would from um, a regular 5250 terminal mode. And this is me logged on. This is the Presto version of uh, this menu here. It's the same menu shown in Presto. Here's my green screen. Well, in my case, a white screen. I prefer that color scheme. Compared to here it is all web eyes and it's auto turned the menu links into uh, hyperlinks. And that's about it. So um, I'm guessing that that was from nothing to Presto fully installed in about five minutes, um, including me waffling way too much. I hope that helped somebody and uh, I'm going to try and put this into a blog on the website. That's it. Cheers.